Hi folks, how are you doing? And welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today's video, we are going to be talking about the Merkaba. The Merkaba is a vast subject, so I'm going to try and keep this brief. I'm going to try and keep a lot of the ancient wisdom out of it because actually that can just cloud things. And I think that's something you can go forward and buy a book on, Google, watch further videos on YouTube. I want this video to be a video that self, it's like a self-help video of how you can use this amazing energy field that is around you. So what does a Merkaba look like? A Merkaba looks like that. So you can see the person stood within and you can see the Merkaba around them. So everyone on this planet has a Merkaba. Every child, everything, every plant, every animal has a Merkaba. I mean, there's different depictions of it on here, different colours, and you can use it with Metatron's grid as well. So everyone has that around them, okay? And I'll just take that off, okay? So the Merkaba is actually a huge part of our protection, spiritual protection, our well-being, our spiritual well-being, our spiritual health, our overall physical health, our mental health, it plays a significant role in our life. It plays a significant role in what we let in and what we let out as well. For those of you that choose to label yourself empath, I've done a video about that in this section, in the playlist section of Shamanic Healing, where I share my views on what I think is really going on with the empath belief system. And Merkaba work is a great tool to use for those of you that want to empower yourself more rather than absorbing everything. Um, in order for your Merkaba to work effectively, we have to do what I call fire it up. And you may say, well, Claire, if it's there already, why is it not firing itself up? Because we are meant to be learning these things for ourselves. One of the big things about being on this path at the minute is re-remembering the sacred ways and re-remembering how our sovereignty, our health, our empowerment comes from within. And it's like anything. If you don't use it, you lose it or it just switches off. It's like, it's the equivalent of saying, I've got muscles, but why aren't I a bodybuilder? Because you're not training your muscles. I've got a car, but it's not moving anywhere. Well, you're not switching the engine on. You're not putting petrol in it. Um, so every day we make a conscious effort, effort, effort to fire up the Merkaba. How would you do that? Very simple. Every day we should actually be having some form of practice of protection. Every day we get up, we brush our teeth, we get washed, we get showered, we get bathed, we do hair, we do makeup, we decide what we're going to have for breakfast. But how many people actually think about their spiritual protection and how that's going to help them throughout the day? So you'd wake up and literally you just visualise it. There's many different ways you can do it. You can close your eyes and just visualise your Merkaba. Connect into your Merkaba. Ask it to fire up. Ask it to light up. What colours is it? What colour is it today? If you work with colour energy, you can fill it with a certain colour. So say you're needing some spiritual protection that day. Number one, your Merkaba is brilliant at spiritual protection. Number two, fill it with the colour blue for Archangel Michael. If you're needing some healing and you're not feeling well, fill your Merkaba up with the colour green. How do you do it? You close your eyes and you visualise it. You can start off using just your imagination at first and then as you build up, you'll start to build a more realistic relationship with your Merkaba. And your Merkaba helps to keep things away from you that shouldn't come into your energy field. So many people walk around with fragmented Merkabas, with Merkabas that are weak, that are letting things in, that are letting people in, that are letting scenarios in, that are letting stories in. You can use Merkaba if you're in a toxic workplace. Ideal. I wish I knew about the Merkaba when I used to work in a workplace because literally it would have been a game changer. Those that work with the Merkaba on a regular basis, it changes. You go to a family party that you may be triggered over or you may not feel comfortable in, you fire up your Merkaba. 
And I think this is what I was saying in the empath video. There are so many things you can do to actually help yourself to take yourself out of that matrix that people put themselves in as being weak and feeble and absorbing everything. We have structures, natural organic structures around us as human beings that we can work with daily. And when you start to acknowledge it and learn about it and build a relationship with it, because don't forget the Merkaba is a part of you, it changes the game of your life. You find you can get through tragedies and traumas much quicker. You can get through life much quicker. You can go shopping and don't feel as contaminated. You can go on a train and don't feel as contaminated. You can visualise certain crystals in it. You can visualise flowers in it. You can you can visualise it being a comfy blanket if you need comfort. It also helps to keep viruses out as well. Now, it may not totally stop you getting a virus, but it may reduce how much of that virus comes into the energy field. Um, it also helps you not be so weakened. So when the virus come, or a virus comes in, then you're not just going to succumb to a really, really horrific bad cold. Um the more layers that we can fire up, the more that we can use colour and light and white light and merkaba and different other forms of protection, the more protected you are. It's not just about one form of protection. I've just got a protection crystal in my pocket. We probably do not that much if you've not got your energy field fired up, if you've not got your merkaba switched on, if you've not working with other things, other, 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 I don't know, other lotions and potions and other symbols as well. It's also about using different symbols, but keep it simple. This video is about the Merkaba. You can also, for those of you with children and babies, your baby has a Merkaba. So this is how you look after your baby and your child when they're going to school. You fire up the Merkaba for them. And then when they get older, you teach them about the Merkaba. So basically, you're not going to be saying, you're not going to be putting your 18 year old son's Merkaba on, on him, because that's just codependency and, it, and it's controlling. You'd be teaching him like you would teach him about fa fastening his, shoe, her, his or her shoelaces, um, because it can stop bullying, it can keep the bullies away, it can keep them protected from all the heavy energies at school. So, teaching the children about Merkaba. If you go out somewhere and all of it, you can even put a Merkaba around your car. So say you're in your car and say someone's coming right up behind you. You don't need to close your eyes for this and, and cause an accident, but you just visualise in your third eye, your Merkaba. And I have actually seen cars slowly step back and then whiz past you. Because actually when you start to put your protection on, it, the energy, whatever is forcing itself into your energy field, your car's energy field can't stand it, so it comes out of it. So you're walking home, you're in, you're, you've just got off the bus, it's dark, you feel a bit, oh, I feel a bit vulnerable. Visu put your Merkaba on you, just visualise it. I'm doing it now. You don't always have to close your eyes, you can do it with your eyes open. Merkaba, protect me. Merkaba, fire up. Merkaba, Merkaba, activate. Work with it how you want. Um... When you're in the bath, or sh well, the shower actually, not the bath. When you're in the shower, visualise your Merkaba being cleaned in, the, in, in, in with the shower water and visualise all the dirty energy that it that's, that protects you from going down the plug hole and away from all the other houses and away from you and out into the forever to be transmuted. And it's really simple. Really, really simple. So you can go from this video and learn about the ancient practices, the ancient wisdom is like everything. There's lots of different meanings about it. Which is why the aim of this video was to keep it very, very simple. Um, the more that we can fire it up, the more that it works with us as well. It's it, it's like anything. We're not aware of it, so we're not active, active with it. We're ignoring it, so it won't fire up. And... You can even use it around your your animals as well. So say you've got a cat and you worry about your cat going out, you just fire up your Merkaba around your cat. Obviously, your cat's not going to learn about the Merkaba. Um, you can put a Merkaba, a Merkaba is around your house. Fire up your Merkaba. Um, another protection, another protection thing is, you know, Metatron's cube, in order to protect your house, visualise his symbol above your house, 
below your house and the four corners of your house. So literally your house is Merkaba, not Merkaba. It's got the Merkaba around it. And then it's got Metatron's Cube, Metatron's Cube, Metatron's Cube. And literally, honestly, and layer it up. What colours are you putting around your house? What colours are you putting around yourself? What colours are you putting around your children? And all of these simple things are just simple. And they really change the game. They really change the game. Um, Merkaba helps with anxiety. So if you're feeling overwhelmed somewhere, you put your Merkaba on. You may be watching a film or you may be out watching a show somewhere and the energy gets a bit icky. Fire up your Merkaba. Um, when we're going through maybe big global events that are maybe heavy and you just want a bit more protection, fire up your Merkaba. If you've heard something on the news that just, oh, fire up your Merkaba and get that relationship going with it. So... Don't be afraid of trusting yourself neither because a lot of the stuff out there can get really complex. Like most people will come and go on to the details of what it is, what it does, etc, etc. And you, they just lose you. So keep it simple. I mean, the Merkaba holds all your ancient wisdom, all your ancient information and all the world's ancient wisdom. So everything is within us. Everything's there. It's just having to fire it back up again. And learn to reconnect with it through thought, through prayer, through meditation, through being present and accountable with the Merkaba. Okay, so that's a little bit about the Merkaba. I said about crystals, visualizing crystals in there, um, saging yourself regular, using sprays to sage your, your auric field regular if you want to. If you're doing shamanic work, I go to Florida. I won't use I go to Florida, Florida water unless you're doing shamanic work. I do get a bit triggered when I just see people firing that around themselves because it's powerful stuff as the shamanic waters. And just to be just doing it as a perfume or as an aftershave, it, it, it's, it's kind of disrespectful. So, yeah. That, the rain. The rain, going out in the rain and letting your Merkaba get cleansed with the rain. Going out in the sun and letting the sun charge up the Merkaba. Grounding with Mother Earth and letting Mother Earth charge up the Merkaba. So anything you can do to bring healing to the Merkaba is vital. So thanks for watching. Love to all. And I will see you later. Bye.